They say that in the world of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. Well, in aerial combat, the fight goes to who is better situational awareness. So, how does the United States make sure they've got eyes on the enemy enough to remain on the throne? The United States does it two ways. First, they work to have better eyes through technology like the E3. Second, they blind the other guy. The United States Navy has just the plane to do the latter the EA-18G Growler from Boeing. This plane replaced the EA-6B Prowler. Although both use the ANALQ-99 jamming system and the AGM-88 high-speed anti-radiation missile, HARM, they are very different planes. The EA-6B Prowler was based off the A-6 Intruder, a medium attack plane, and it shows in the plane's performance, it has a top speed of 652 miles per hour and a range of 2,022 miles. It could carry jamming pods or HARM as the EA-6B served for over four decades before it was finally retired. The EA-18G Growler, on the other hand, was based off the F-A-18F Super Hornet, a multi-role fighter. This means much better performance, it has a top speed of 1,181 miles per hour, a ceiling of over 50,000 feet, but a range of only 1,458 miles. Because it's based off a multi-role fighter, it carries more pylons. So it not only hauls jammer pods and HARMEs, but external tanks for extended range, as well as AIM-120 advanced medium-range air-to-air missiles. In short, the Growler can really put an enemy's eyes out in more ways than one. Jammers can blind radars, while HA armies destroy key nodes in an air defense system. The AMRA armies are useful to deal with enemy fighters, in essence, allowing the Growler to escort itself, or they can kill an enemy radar plane, like the A-50 mainstay.